Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. I uh, was just down the hole there, getting some oxide, because we've got to fire up the furnace here. Uh, hopefully I can do this quick, I want to do this now before things get out of hand. So we're going to see if, uh, apparently this actually is a vacuum hopper, it sucks it in. And I did something with the, the other furnace there, we'll check that out in a second here. And I just want to get this fired up, because we've got to make some electrum. Uh, as you can see, I have a console on me. And what I want to do is I want to set the pressure, pressure valves and regulators. Come on, are you not fine? There we go. Uh, into, I think this actually might be enough. Uh, onto a switch panel so I can uh, automate, automate them or uh, turn it on and off when I don't need it. But anyways, I got to get some electrum made. That's actually... Not close enough. Come here, you. Oh, damn. I'm all over the place today. So don't mind me. I was in a bit of a rush because I wanted to get that furnace up and running before the sun came up because it's such a pain. Okay, yeah, should we make electrum? No. I gotta bring the temperature up. So let's see. I can sneak this in here without it melting. I think I might have missed a gun on this. Uh, let's try a little bit of oxide. I think it's melted before it's or evaporated before it even gets there. There it is. Okay, I gotta check my temperature and pressure because I think I'm supposed to be 1200. But let me just check this quickly. Pressure is too high. So what we gotta do is we gotta turn the turn the regulator on, turn the pump on, just for a second. You can get that pressure down. No. Turn that back on. Sort of why I want to have this on a switch too. If I gotta fine tune it, like I can still be at 700 Kelvin. This has to be under 2400 megapascals. I don't know what I was saying before. Or is it millipascals? I have no idea. There we go. Okay, turn that off. And we have Electrum. Or we will in a second, as soon as I put the rest of it in. But anyways, I want to get uh, some mining going today. Get some automated storage and possibly some automated smelting. We'll see how things go th th today. Uh, I have done, I had to do a bit of mining. Oh, pressure went up. And I think the temperature's going to go down too. Uh, but yeah, got a whole bunch of gold, a bunch of silver, iron... And a little bit more, so yeah, let me get this taken care of, and I'll bring you right back. I got it. Oh, it's a realize, too, I could have actually reached the button from there. Anyway, so we got the Electrum. Uh, this will not go anywhere here, so i put the drill away. We'll grab the Electrum, and uh, this will be good for now. What we'll do is, as soon as I can get by here, we'll vent this into the system. And, since I have this panel with me, we can also mount this somewhere. Um, I don't know where I can actually place it. Won't let me place it on the chute, unfortunately. Uh, I could place it here, but I don't like that. Hmm. I did make a wall. Let me put a wall kit up here. Oh, yeah. While I'm over here, I'll show you what I've done here. As you can see, the, the furnace is turning on and off, on and off, and on and off. Uh, what I've done, and I figured this out myself. It wasn't hard. It's actually quite easy. Uh, let's get some inventory management done here. Uh, hmm. Give me a sec. Okay. So, what I've done is I've created two logic I.O. chips. Uh, one's a logic reader, one's a logic writer. Now, when you hook these up to any type of, any data port to any machine, uh, as long as it's connected to the input, it'll allow you to change it. Now, right now, I only have two things on this particular circuit. I have the, the furnace and add the logic writer. So changing this isn't going to do anything. It gives me a logic writer, gives me an error. Go to Arc Furnace, still get an error because I have to reset it now. And what I'm doing for the logic is I am reading idle. So if this is, if there, this isn't actually smelting, it's going to try to activate it. If there's nothing in there, then it won't smelt and open up and then try to activate again. So what I've done is I've done a input shoot there, just load a whole bunch of stuff in there, like a bunch of stacks, you know, smelt the stacks, spit it out, 
bring the next stack in, start smelting automatically. And yeah, and the logic writer, all it does is just when it reads, take, takes the input from the logic reader, so idle, in other words, as soon as it's idle, it sends out a signal. The logic writer takes the signal in from the logic reader, and as soon as it gets a signal, it sends an activate signal to the arc furnace. So in other words, if it's not running, turn it on. And that's it. I don't know how much power they use, but I don't really care. Uh, I do have to switch this off or else it does the whole cycle on, off, on, off. But it seems that doesn't actually start until something goes in there. So that's not bad. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I want to get some stuff printed. I have, like I said, made a whole bunch of stuff. I have a lot of iron, a lot of gold, a lot of copper. Made a whole bunch of electrum there. I've got a lot of steel and even have some solder and what we need we're going to do is we're going to start making sorters now i have one sorter over here made and they're not actually that expensive so what i want to do is i want to basically set have a setup so i can have that miner and i thought about the what i'm going to do with it i actually don't have it on me out here anymore i I was doing a test now i don't actually have to have a foundation because i can snap it to the grid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it out about this far and I'm gonna have a main line like main shoot line sort of lined up in the center here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start strip mining and uh, just move it two spaces every time and everything that goes to the system is gonna run through a whole line of sorters which are gonna go into stackers and the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want stacks of 5 or 15 or 8 in the, the vending machines because yes, everything's going to go into vending machines. There's only going to be four vending machines for now because those things are expensive. And they, they do hold a very amount of stuff. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some stuff printed and I'll bring you back. Oh yeah, by the way, I was checking out the floor grading here. I actually like this. Uh, it actually goes underneath the, underneath the machines. Uh, you can't actually put the machines on this as a structure, but you can put this over top the this so it looks a little better. Oh, I'm hungry. Where did I put my potatoes? Oh yes, I put a uh, cabinet here. I think this is the one that's got some left. That actually came in handy for a change. Anyway, I got some work to do. So many things to do, you always forget what you're doing. You get caught up in other things. Anyways, so there's the wall. Let's take the jetpack off because, you know, want to be conservative. Oh, do I really have to fill this in? Yeah, they they fixed it so you can actually put stuff on the uh, on the walls now. Do I have sheets? I do. Those are from the miner, but oh well, that's fine. Ah, <sighs> never ends with you. I gotta suffocate myself for just a second here. Uh, come on, let me stand you up here. Oh, I can't. Uh, let's drop that for a second. We'll pick this up. We'll let it go. Pick that up. Now, where do I put the container? In here. Okay. Hold my breath. Not anymore. That was fun. Anyway. So, yeah. So, what I've done is I have a uh, console here. What? Come on. Are you serious? Oh. It's backwards. Give me a sec. Okay, let's try this again. So what I'm going to do, actually, just grab the labeler, hang on. Like I said before, I do know what I'm doing. I really do. It may not look like it, but I do. All right, so that should be good. So we'll turn this off and this off. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to label these because I want to be able to control them independently with their own um, power control. Yes. All right, so let's turn this on. We'll rename this uh, volume pump in confirm and then we'll change that to pressure regulator in and this is just so i can configure the panels a little bit better all right and now think about the labeler is you can go right onto the the object to rename it or you can go onto the dials to actually set a specific number so keep that in mind if you ever do this yourself and then this of course is going to be volume pump out and pressure regulator out and you'll see why in just a second. And you'll make sure to turn your labeler off because you don't want to waste the power on that. There's a wall behind me, of course. Okay, so let's uh, 
put that there. Sure. All right, so we need two consoles. Uh, let's see. We're gonna... Yeah, make sure I'm rotating the right way. I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have another wall. Right there. So I can uh, put uh, this control panel over here, and this will be for filling the tanks. So this will control the output of the, the big tank, and this one will control the input. So to connect these, all you got to do is just hook these up to the same power grid. So let me do that. Okay, so I've got them both wired into this in the, the same control. So what i got to do is I have made two circuit boards uh, for power control. Uh, sadly, they don't stack. So what we do is we put a. Um, oh, we gotta put the glass on first, I think. Well, yeah, to actually use it. So this gives us a display. Go ahead and put our data disk in the side. There, we turn it on, and this allows us to configure it. So this side is going to be going into the tank. So I want to choose volume pump in, and volume regulator in, and. Toggle mode, linked, toggle. And I think that should be it. Oh, uh, hang on, I'm gonna take that out of my hand. Okay, let's see if this actually works. And there you go, you can see they turned on, turned off. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Put the chip in there, uh, put some glass over the top. why it takes so long to put the glass on top put the disc inside and do the same thing and this will be the out so fresh regulator out volume pump out now as you can see in this list you can see the transformers in there too now this the, these consoles will only work on this particular grid and when I mean grid I don't mean everything I mean everything coming off of this transformer right here. So it's not going to detect anything over on that side. It's not going to detect the batteries or the large transformers. Uh, I have thought of a way of trying to get some sort of um, power level storage. This is a setup like a display, but I haven't quite thought of what I'm going to do. But one thing I do know is having that furnace running all night, like I'm constantly all night and everything else turned on, I only used half a battery. So I've got a lot of power to use. But anyways, yeah, so we're done with that. Take the disc out, and then and that's good for that. So we can go ahead and turn that off. There is that. Now you can also get um, uh, different types of chips, uh, circuit boards like graph displays or LED displays that'll actually allow you to hook up to the, the data port of the tank or um, even the battery to tell you what the, the actual storage is like it'll tell me how much actual propellant i have in here and it'll tell me how much battery power i have in there and it all depends on what devices are connected onto the grid anyway uh i'm gonna get some stuff ready for mining and uh we'll start getting some storage set okay i'm back i got everything all made now uh, i do realize my filters are brand low so i'm gonna get that taken care of now i've been trying to figure out how i want to set this up because i honestly i want to have a nice view of the, the, the moon uh, the earth i'm on the moon that's the earth yes i know my astrology I think i don't know anyway uh yeah so i don't didn't want to obstruct the view but it's going to be a, a fair size area so uh we're going to have everything on this floor and we're going to be upstairs so that's what we're going to do uh i have made a whole bunch of stuff as you can see by the locker here if i hit the right button i got a whole bunch of shoots i got sorters i have stackers and i have vending machines i made three of them actually i made four of them uh not cheap uh it's just going to be four for now one's going to be for the ices i'm hoping this stuff doesn't melt in here uh one's going to be for coal and uranium because there's no use for uranium right now and coal we don't smelt and then one's going to be half the ores like copper gold iron and one other probably the cobalt and the other, the other one will be like nickel lead and stuff like that uh yeah so anyways let's go ahead and start with our stackers sure let's do that our stacker no 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 the sorters uh sorter there we go 
So I've been looking at the, the tile place, and I should be able to get two of these in the same space, basically. So I'm going to be coming in from... I guess we'll just come in from this side here. I do want to make sure I have enough room, and I do want to put some walls around this. Now, are you actually on there? No, you're not. Of course not. All right, how do I get rid of you? Hmm, that is the question. Which tool? Uh, I'm going to say drill. Oh my god, it's like I know what I'm doing. All right, let's try this again. All right, we'll do that. We'll flip it around. Uh, I do have to find out, is that power and? Yeah, power and data. Okay. So there's going to be a sorter there. Or, um, yeah, a sorter there. A sorter here. Now, i gotta, I got to get some shoots. I want to make sure that this is actually going to gonna work. I don't think it is. Let's see, what I wanted to do is to get a corner in here. If I can get the right rotation. There we go. Like that, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Right? Well, oh, it's going to be on the other side. Hmm. Actually, I'm wondering, is there a left and a right in this? No. Just a rotation. So that means I gotta be going the other way. Okay, fair enough. I think this will work though. Uh, I think just for the safe side, or to be on the safe side, I'm gonna space them two apart. So let's, uh, just for an example, just like that, and then that way I can. You know, I think that actually should be okay, because then I'll put the stacker there. Uh, I do have to flip this around, so let me figure this out. We'll probably start mining it at that end. I have filled in the the blocks over here, just in case I need the extra room for the storage. So let me uh, set this up, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I've got everything set up right now. Uh, I want to actually make sure that it's actually going to spit out here properly. Uh, that it doesn't get, get clipped in there or anything like that. In fact, let's uh, put another shoot on there just to be safe. So what I've done is I've actually have the have the computer set up, or that I had set up over there on the other sorter. So I sort of know how this works. Uh, one thing I do got to do is um, I gotta label this. So I'm gonna lab label this one iron because it's gonna be for the iron. I'm gonna throw some iron in there and see if it pops out. Uh, so if I have iron, I might have to find some, but either way, now we're just going to name that iron for now. I will figure out what I have. We'll take that out, put that in here. I know I got silver, so we can always run that through. So in here, we open this up. We have a, a motherboard for a sorter. Put that in there, close it, and turn it on. So now it's so showing the two sorters that I have on here. Uh, the one I labeled, this one here, and the one next to it. Now, these ones aren't actually turned on. I haven't turned them on yet, so I guess I should uh, do that. Not that they both have to be on, just the first one. So as you can see, it's a, a sim pretty simple. It's a whitelist. Choose what you want in here. It can be different types of items. You can go all the way down to ores, uh, different cards. As you can see, it's a long list, and unfortunately, there's no way to search in here. So what I need to do, see if I can do this, get down to ores. It's in here somewhere. Alphabet, alphabetical. It'd be nice if you could use like that page up, page down. But you get the idea. Let me find uh, the ores in here and I'll bring you back. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Okay, I just scroll through it, but I basically found it, like you can see ice is ice, and you got your ingots. Just past the ingots, there should be ores. There we go, ores. So we'll go ahead and whitelist iron on that one, if that's what I have. So let me get some iron, we'll test it. Okay, I'm back. I didn't have any iron, but I do have some silver, so we're going to go ahead and change this back to silver. Oh, this was somewhere down here. Maybe a little bit past. Okay, there's ingots. I'm gonna go down to you know, changes is silver because that's what I have. All right. So now the question is: Is it gonna go into the stacker? Let's open that up and 
throw that in. Let's see if this actually worked. And there we go. We have silver. Let's pick that up so I don't lose it. Uh, let's see what happens if we throw the cobalt in there. Uh, let's get a little closer. Of course, I'm not going to be dumping this in. The miner's just going to throw it right in. And the cobalt went right into the next machine. Cool. Can I actually get it from here? No, I can't. So I'll have to turn it, <laughs> I'm going to have to turn them all on and just have it file through the line. But so this is what it's going to be. It's going to be a sorter and a stacker, sorter, stacker. And these stacks are going to end up being uh, piped, funneled into a vending machine. And that's where I'm going to start going. And then eventually we'll get it into feeding into that furnace or that furnace over there. So let me finish getting this all set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I am pretty much done here. I am just setting up the last of the sorters now. Uh, I had to make some more cable, a lot more cable. Uh, what I've done is I've got everything on its own transformer. Uh, from what I can tell, I, like on the wiki, it tells you the power usage of everything. From what I can tell, it's not going to take more than 3,000, I'd say. But I've got them on their own transformer anyways. Uh, I am looking for Octite. So that is everything. <laughs> that is the whole shebang. So now that's now the next thing to do is to get the vending machine set up. So these four here are going to be going into one. Uh, let's get my suit. Yes, and yeah, I know about making the hard the the hard suit just so I have more inventory space, which I may do eventually. Uh, so, so what I'm going to be doing is that's going to be going this way. Uh, this is going to be going this way. And there's going to be... I guess I'll do a junction that way. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Uh, that's not the right thing. Hang on a sec. Uh, you get the idea. Let me uh, do this, get it all set up, and uh, I'll bring you back when I have the vending machine set up. So basically it's going to be these four on their own machine, these four on their own machine, these two on their own machine, and then the ice should be all in one. Uh, if it melts, I might have to put this in like a refrigerator room. I know there's a, a wall heater and a wall cooler, so I might have to make a refrigerator room for the ice if it survives to travel down the chutes. I might have to mine at night, who knows. But anyways, I shall return. Okay, I'm back. And I am just turning everything on, make sure uh, the transformer can actually hold the load. Uh, everything is basically on. We got all the swords set up. We got uh, all the plumbing going to the conveyors, except for the fact that I had to move them out one, and I forgot to put another chute in, and the reason why I had to put it out one was so I could actually get the wire in there. That's fine. Just a few little things here, and hopefully everything uh, should be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to turn the vending machines on, too. Turn that on, turn that on, and that, and that. And then eventually, what I plan on doing is having it so I could automatically dispense these into furnaces if I need to smelt them to get them to go into the fabricator. Uh, the reason why I'm not auto-smelting them already is because I want to, I guess I should leave that on for recording purposes, uh, is just so I don't have to make alloys. So, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do, we're gonna go up. Actually, I gotta fill up my jetpack first. But I'm gonna I might have to make some more junctions, I think. But I'm, I think we're gonna give this miner a, a test run here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go out a little ways, set it up, and uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when I got it right, got it up and running. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I am back. I have got the chute connected. I have now connected the power. As you can see, that's a long way away. Now the question is, it's got enough power. Ooh, good. All right, so now the question is, what's this going to do? I know I'm wasting jetpack fuel. Uh, I drained that tank completely. There is nothing in there left. And uh, this might take a minute to get down. So I'm going to do a cut here and I'll bring you back when it starts hitting something. Looks like we've uh, dipped into some silver. 
Now I do realize I'm going to have to move this quite often because it goes pretty quick. Uh, it is going to leave a big hole in the ground, but believe me, I have plans for that big hole in the ground. And no, not those plans. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's my job. Oh, we got some ice too. Actually, that's coal. Silver. Okay, so we got coal, we got ice. So now, let's go have a look and see if the stackers are working. Now, the question is, let's see here. Uh, coal was this one. So there should be. Nothing in there. Hmm. All right, what's going on here? Is it not reached yet? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. It's got to actually return, bring the load back. So the vending machine was here. Ah, look at that. It's working. You can actually see it working. And there goes the ice. So yes, I'm going to have to completely insulate this whole area. All right, well, that doing pretty good so what I think I'm going to do between now and the next episode and one of the things I keep forgetting to do I might have to wait till the morning for this but uh, because I have the HUD I always have to come back into the game afterwards take the HUD off so I can actually get my thumbnail so you don't see all the information there but this is working uh, we haven't gotten a full stack yet as we'd see on the, the vending machine let's see how much coal we got already it won't even tell me. I don't want to avoid it yet. Has it reached the bottom? Getting there. So basically what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be doing strip mining. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going out this way. It's going to be... Just a matter of adding some extra co extra wire and shoots. And then go to the next two chunk. And the next chunk. And the next chunk. And... Keep going with that. So, anyways, uh, I think I think we'll call this one here. Probably next episode we'll work on getting some refrigeration set up. But I'm gonna actually let this go for a little bit, move it a couple of times, and see what we have for next episode. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.